The registrar gave little preamble, said something about how the success of a marriage was not about gazing into each other's eyes, but looking toward the same horizon. I couldn't have put it better myself. My bride was a climped painting made flesh in her sequined gold shift, her hair a soft dark hood. She'd even swapped her cheap gypsy hoops for smaller circles of tasteful hammered brass. She spoke her vows with careful, deliberate diction. After the ceremony, we had a sushi lunch. It took Kerry three glasses of champagne before she could muster the courage to eat the sashimi, and then it was done with much laughter and clumsiness. Mrs. Kerry Ryder, she said, admiring her left hand. It suits me. The name or the ring? Both. Technically, of course, she wasn't Kerry Ryder. She had just pledged her life to Darcy Kellaway, but she knew the name my mother had given me was something I saved for only the gravest of occasions. I did not press the subject. The last thing I wanted was for her to change her own name. When the time came for her to move in on Felix, there must be no outward signs of our connection. 